Hi there. Today, Tico and I are going to set up a mining rig. We're going to show you how to set up the operating system, plug in all the devices, and set up the pool to mine Beam, the new Mimble Wimble coin. So, what have I got in front of me? I have Heapy Junk, especially. Junk of the junk, Colin Frankenstein. This graphics card is a Gigabyte 1070 Ti. I've replaced the fan with a CPU fan and uh, seems to work all right. We'll wait and see. A GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. This is a good card, made by Palette this one. A AMD 570, decent card, and three 1060s. These are three gig versions. Fight rumbling. So, bundle of cables, cables shielded to go with the power supply, which is an EVGA 1600P2, the platinum version. This is an excellent power supply. When you're setting up a mining rig, always consider your PSU. I tend not to use the cheapest ones. Um, for a simple fact that you do get what you pay for. So um, the EVGA 1600, although it's probably uh, far more than I need for this small mining rig which is going to pull maximum 800 watts at stock settings um, it just gives that a little bit of headroom won't overheat, keeps everything running safely um, won't burn your house down so that's that we also have the riser board which is pre-built the risers on it a USB stick for your operating system. That one is, uh, incidentally, a uh, 16 gigabyte. Your motherboard, which has some RAM, cheapest chip CPU, power cables are already on, and your riser cables to go to the USB part on your riser boards. So, how do we begin? setting this up, I hear you ask. First things first, you want to get the graphics cards and your power cables all linking up to your riser board. Simple. I'll do the first one. So let's plug in a 1060 and the end slot there and find the correct cable for that. I'm looking for a double ended cable as one end will go into the card, the other part of that end will go into the riser board. That is your power supply end. Into the riser, you can see at the front of the riser is a power port for thank you Tico the motherboard will be done later that's a SATA power that will go into the front of the riser like so power supply and extras so the extras will be used because I'm going to be putting other graphics cards along the line here. Probably the other two on that particular cable. That can go there. All good for that? Sorted. So, all our cables are plugged in to the graphics cards, to the riser boards, into the power supply. 
Next, the motherboard. So if I just pop that here, and I shall set these up back in a minute. So now that the motherboard's in, graphics cards are all in, all the cables are attached, and we're about good to go. What do we need first? An operating system. The operating system we're going to use today is quite a new operating system and uh, I found it just last week. Um, it's uh, pretty decent and I'll run you through the um, processes of it, how to install it, how to configure your cards, how to configure your pool and uh, hopefully you'll be up in mind and being in no time. The operating system we're going to use for your rig is called MMPOS. It's quite a new operating system as I said and uh, you can download it after you've registered an account on the website. Um, the website is app.mmpos.eu and if you first click create a free account you can email your password, confirm your password and create your free account. And you can also check the privacy policy there just tells you all the info and for obvious reasons I've already got an account so I'm just going to go ahead and log in with my account here. There we go. And log in. Now to get the operating system onto your mining rig you're going to have to first download it and to do so go to the rigs tab and click on the link get MMPOS. You want to download and I'm going to pop it on my desktop. So I'll let that download. It's uh, 1.4 gigabytes as a compacted package. Once you extract it, it'll be 4.3 or so. Um, so you're going to need a USB thumb drive to fit that. Um, Mine is 16 gigabytes, so I've got plenty of room uh, to be able to put that onto there. Um, and when it's downloaded, we will then extract it and pop it onto the drive using what they recommend is Etcher. I've already got Etcher installed on here, so um, I don't need to download that, but the link is there if you need it. It's quite a simple software. Once you've uh, unpackage the .gz file, it will create a .img file for you and in just a minute I'll run you through how to put that onto the USB stick. There we go, that's downloaded. So I'm going to extract that. On a Mac I just click open. That will run through. There we go. So once it extracts that, archive we will have, as said, the MMP operating system as a .img file. You're going to basically flash that onto the drive to turn your USB drive into a bootable operating system so that when you fire up your rig it automatically kicks in. Here we go. Nearly there. Okie dokie. It's that done. So I'm going to use Etcher, which is going to be in here. Etcher. And to burn that, I'm going to select the image, and it's the unpacked one, which is MMP latest.img, not the GZ, that's the archive. So IMG. I click open on there. There's my uh, USB drive, it says it's 15.5 gigabytes, that's the actual size of it. And then we're going to cl click flash. This takes approximately mm, 15 to 20 minutes to do so. And uh, once it's done, it will verify. And uh, then we can go on to the next step. And that step is generating your autoconf file. 
This is the file which links your rig to your dashboard. So from your uh, login on MMPOS, go to the download autoconf and just simply generate and download and pop that directly into your USB stick, which is there. Save it. There we go. And once that's done, I can then get the USB stick eject and take it out of my machine, ready to go into the rig. Let's go there now. So here we are. USB with your operating system on it from MMPOS. Motherboard, cards, Ethernet cable, power, everything's good to go. I'm going to plug this into my motherboard like that. This little button powers it all up. There we go. You should see some little flickery lights there. Okay, now let's go back to the dashboard. If you've got that done correctly, your rig will show up in your My Rigs settings of the MMPOS dashboard. And from there, we're going to set up a pool with your address and start mining. Let's do that now. The pool I'm choosing here is Sun Pool, which is quite a different beast from other pools. If you're going to use Sun Pool, navigate to beam.sunpool.top and you will see on this page quite clear instructions on how to mine on that pool. Basically, the pool will generate a public key, which you will mine to, and a private key, which will be your key to withdraw coins. When you generate this by refreshing the page, it will change every time. Find one that you like and note it down. Basically, copy and paste that text into a notepad somewhere safe. I've already got a, a key set up with my private key uh, safely held offline. So I'm going to go ahead and put my info into the MMPOS dashboard. The first place you look at is your wallets. So you add your wallet on there and I'll find my wallet address which is right there. Copy that, put that into there. The coin I'm mining is Beam. So let's put the address into there and create the wallet. That will go there. And moving on to the pools settings, you can add your pool. So I'm going to add Sun Pool there. And again, search for the coin you're mining, which is Beam. You'll see your wallet address is uh, already populated in there from the wallet settings. And your host name for this one is beam.sunpool.top using SSL and your port is 3333. Therefore, you can create your pool just like that. Next along is your minor profiles. You can add your profile, which is basically your command line now. So I'm going to add that there. The coin again is Beam and that populates everything that you need. You've got your miner, three different types of miner there, settings for Beam. You can use LOL miner, you can use B miner or you can use G miner. Let's just set it to G miner for now. Your miner version um, will show there. Might as well choose latest and create your profile. That's that done. So then Going back to your rigs, you want to drag it here, and your mining profile should be configure. Um, let's enable the system watchdog. Miner configuration, your miner profile is there. Some pool, let's add some fan management. I'm going to set my fans. 50% with a target temperature of 80 degrees. Keep my living room warm. Let's update that. And GPU configuration is where you can set all your overclocking and power limits. It has overclock 
presets but I seem to have found quite a sweet spot for these cards already and I'm going to find where I put the settings for that and key them in. So here are my low power settings I'm going to go ahead and enter each of them into the config of each card. M Impost will allow you to do that individually for each card which is pretty cool. We'll set that there, we'll set that one there and set I'll limit on that card there, taking off smart trim and override. That's that one done. And next is my 570. Let's do that. Power limits and voltages. And that's 1150. 2100 watts. And let's have 900 megavolts, millivolts, millivolts, anyway. Next one's going to be my 1070, which is there, 8500, and one more. That's that one, and let's configure it. 1060s. Another pretty cool feature of MMPOS is if you've got many of the same type of card, you can set them all to the same power limit, and when you click apply similar, it'll say you've got three different cards. Update them all, job done, and be sure to click update on the bottom of the page there. Big updated. So if we go back to the dashboard, we can see now the hash rate and the power consumption. This was stock settings, so after I've put in the overclock and power limit settings, this should drop slightly. You can then go on to your pool and see if it's working. Oh look, it was off all day. All day. If I refresh that page. There we go, we've kicked in. Excellent work. And that is how to bind beam using MMPOS on Sunpool. Good luck! Beam Vlogs by Rascal from the Rabbit Hole.